adaptations the importance of adaptation where do we live we live in our home where do all creatures live earth is home for all creatures in the world nature provides home to all these creatures you know that we find living things on land and in water living things exist in most places on earth we can see life even in openings of volcanoes or hot springs so we can find life pretty much everywhere on earth so if we find life everywhere then why don't penguins live in our garden penguins live in antarctica which is their home or habitat the place or surrounding where an organism lives is called its habitat each habitat is a certain type of home to different creatures will you find a polar bear or a penguin in a desert area no why not because that is not their habitat you know that the habitat for the camel and cactus is a desert the organisms depend for their food water air shelter and other needs on their habitat you also know that many different kinds of plants and animals share the same habitat habitat can be either terrestrial or aquatic based on the environment terrestrial is related to land all animals and plants that live on land are said to be in a terrestrial habitat for example forests deserts aquatic is related to water all animals and plants that live in water are said to be in an aquatic habitat for example lakes rivers oceans animals that you find in a particular habitat are the ones that have adjusted to living in that habitat adjusting to the surroundings to survive is called adaptation all living organisms try to adapt to their surroundings as that is the only way to live the ones that cannot adapt cannot survive such organisms die out or become extinct animals and plants have always had a hard time surviving scientists estimate that over 2/3 of the animals and plants that once lived on earth are now extinct animals became extinct in the past for a wide variety of reasons in some cases competition for resources among animals led to extinction in other cases environmental changes caused extinction scientists think dinosaurs became extinct because a meteorite struck the earth and caused changes in the environment that the dinosaurs and other animals and plants couldn't adapt to the largest of ape species gigantopithecus that roamed earth died out 1 lakh years ago due to climate changes when an ice age occurred between 2.6 million years and 12000 years ago the earth was covered with massive glaciers the habitats the large apes were accustomed to changed dramatically this climate change wiped out its preferred diet of forest fruit replacing it with less nutritious savanna grasses other apes and early humans in africa survived the environmental change researchers believe that nature evolution and perhaps the refusal to try new foods untimely doomed the giant ape 
human activity often changes or destroys the habitats that plants and animals need to survive. Because human populations are growing so fast, animals and plants are disappearing 1000 times faster than they have in the past 65 million years. Scientists estimate that in the 21st century, 100 species will become extinct every day. Some animals are endangered because of a combination of natural and man-made causes. Endangered means in danger of becoming extinct soon. The West Indian manatee is now an endangered aquatic mammal that lives in rivers, estuaries, canals and saltwater bays. Manatees need warm water to survive. They migrate long distances to reach warm waters in the winter. Sometimes manatees die because they don't migrate back to warm water soon enough. As they are migrating, these days many times they are killed when they are hit by boats. Manatees can also die when they get caught in fishing nets. Manatees only give birth every 2 to 5 years and they only have one calf at a time. Because their reproduction rate is so low and mortality rates or death rates are high, Manatee populations are endangered. Some animals are endangered because exotic or non-native species were introduced to their habitats. In Hawaii, the state bird, the Nene Goose, is in danger because of the mongoose. The mongoose was brought into Hawaii by planters to help control rats in sugarcane fields. The planters didn't realize that rats are nocturnal and the mongoose hunts in the day. The mongoose found other sources of food like eggs from nesting birds including the nene goose. The nene goose used to be found all over Hawaii. There are now less than 800 left in the state. On the other hand, there are some organisms that are really amazing at adapting. One example is the cockroach. They have been there 112 million years before the dinosaurs. That time, they were twice as big as they are now. They survived through so many extinctions and are even around today. That is because they can adjust to any environment quickly. In fact, even on earth, you can find cockroaches pretty much anywhere, in any terrain and in any kind of climate. A great example of an organism that adjusts amazingly to its environment is the gopher tortoise. It can hibernate when the weather is harsh. It also digs itself a long, deep burrow in which it lives out this time. With this adjustment, scientists think they could even survive meteorite impacts. Sharks have been in the ocean for 450 million years. They survived through five big extinction events. They have been around much longer than dinosaurs. Dinosaurs appeared only 230 million years ago. Sharks can spot changes in their surroundings as their senses are very sharp. So they can protect themselves and also spot food. They can travel long distances easily. They can smell their prey from more than a kilometer away and they have sharp teeth to crush any animal. 
Sharks remain submerged thousands of feet below the water surface and they only rise during meal time. Amazingly, sharks actually sleep with their eyes open and only one half of their brains rests during periods of sleep. When the world was full of dinosaurs, there were so many crocodiles too. There was lots of food and the climate was warm. So, there were giant crocs all around. Crocodiles are cold-blooded, so they can control how to use their body energy. They can go without food for long periods of time, even a whole year. The crocodile feeds on whatever it can find. And to support this, it has an amazing digestive system. It can digest almost anything and it digests its whole prey including the bones, shells and hooves. So almost nothing goes waste. The crocodile has very sharp senses that help it to find prey. It also has amazing features to help it adjust and hunt better. For instance, when it goes underwater, protective transparent membranes cover its eyeballs. So, it can still see well underwater. In fact, the eyes are such that they can even see well in very low light. Its strong sense of smell and hearing help it find food and protect itself. Because of its sharp senses, it's difficult even for a human to capture a crocodile. As organisms change, as they adapt to the environment, we call it evolution. We know that man evolved from apes. The horses that you see today earlier lived in dense jungles and were the size of cats. They adapted later to a life on grasslands and grew in size to what we see them as today. So adaptation makes or breaks an organism. Good and quick adaptations enable organisms to survive. If it doesn't happen, the organism becomes extinct. And it's a natural process too. It's called natural selection. Extinction is a natural process and has always been going on since life came to be on earth. However, with the interference of man, it's been happening really fast in the last century and especially in the last 50 years. What are the reasons for this? Deforestation mainly. If the animals don't have a place to live or food to eat and water to drink, how can they live? To add to that, there is illegal hunting. How can anyone win a match against man now? The western black rhinoceros went extinct in 2011 due to illegal hunting. The Caribbean monk seal went extinct in 2008. It was hunted for its blubber which was used as oil for lamps and machinery. The extinction of seal also mean the extinction of the Caribbean monk seal nasal mite, a gross insect that only lived inside the nose of this species of seal. The Canarian oyster catcher went extinct in 1994. They lived on the Canary Islands off the west coast of Africa. Can you guess why? Because of overfishing the shellfish in the coast where it lived. That was the only thing this bird ate. There are only four stuffed specimens of these birds in the museums today. The Indian cheetah was found in the semi-desert areas of Rajasthan and Gujarat. It was killed by hunters. The pink-headed duck was one of the most beautiful birds in India. Excessive hunting made it extinct. The Sivatharium was the tallest and fastest animal found in India. It was given that name after Lord Shiva, 
that is also now extinct. What did we just learn? Habitat means place or surrounding where an organism lives. The organisms depend on their habitat for their food, water, air, shelter and other needs. The presence of specific features or certain habits which enable a plant or an animal to live in its surroundings is called adaptation. When an organism cannot adapt to the environment, it dies out. When the entire species dies out, it is called extinction. Animals that are in danger of dying out are called endangered animals. Extinction is a natural process. It is also called natural selection. However, with the interference and activities of man, species are becoming extinct faster than they ever have before.